somebody just hits you up and asks you to do a walkthrough, right? So I just left a walkthrough and I thought to myself, this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys how I prepare, how I dress, the questions I ask, how I show up, all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Okay, y'all. First things first, we need to dress professional. We need to look like a professional, look like we know what we're doing, look like we do this. Even if it's your first one, they don't have to know that, right? This is the same thing I wear with some khaki pants every single time, whether that's a walkthrough or I'm going out and passing out flyers or a meeting with clients or even people that I'm going to be hiring to help us out. And then you want to go in there with your questions ready, right? Now, used to, on the way to the walkthrough, if my wife was coming with me, I would have her just jot down a bunch of questions off the top of my head, right? On a piece of paper, you know? And, and that wasn't, that wasn't the best strategy, right? So I figured, you know what? One day I was like, all right, let me just go ahead and type something up. The most frequent questions I always ask, and I got about nine or 10 questions here. Got my logo on here on top, and then I just printed them out, right? Line by line. So first things first, you need to figure out who am I speaking with? What's the building name, the business name, who is the representative or the office manager? And also you wanna figure out what is their email address because that's the email address you're gonna be sending your proposal to, right? So I got here, I got the name, whatever, all that good stuff, get clear on that before the meeting even start, right? Then you get there and you wanna ask them, what is the square footage? That's question number two. What's the square footage of this building? How big is it, right? What is the cleanable space that we're gonna be cleaning? They may have a certain area that's not included, right? So you don't wanna you don't wanna put that on there, but you wanna make sure you get the cleanable space square footage. Everything that your team is gonna be cleaning, right? Question number three, very, very important. If you're dealing with schools, banks, office buildings, whatever, medical offices, you need to ask, how many days do you want this building to be clean? Is it two days? Is it three days? Is it five days? Some dialysis clinics, as well as banks, need you to be in there six days a week because they're open on Saturdays, right? So you need to get very, very clear on that. That's going to you know, be very important when you're determining your price, right? So a building like the one I looked at today, it's a medical office. I love medical offices. Those five days a week, right? That's a five day a week account. I know that already. Boom, put that on there, right? Then we want to figure out, okay, how many offices, how many exam rooms, how many classrooms, whatever that is in these particular buildings, right? In that building, how many of those rooms are in there, right? And they need to figure out what is needed in each room. We're wiping down the countertops. We're changing out the paper towels. We're changing out the trash sweeping and mopping the floors, vacuuming the floors, however that works out. Do we mess with the operating bed? Do you want that cleaned off? All that good stuff, get very, very clear on that. That's gonna be very important, right? The next question, how many restrooms and what do you want done in these restrooms? Also, are these, west, these restrooms the ones with three, four, five, or six stalls in it? Or is it just the one with a single toilet, single sink, mirror, trash can, that's it, right? Oh, another thing too is, if you can take pictures, ask them, hey, is it okay if I take some pictures of this and that, and just to make sure I know what I'm working with, right? Take some pictures, get some good photos, cause it's gonna be very, very important and handy when you typing up your bid, it's like, all right, what did that look like again? And you can just see, oh yeah, I gotta do that. Or that was a sink right there, or that was a, a water fountain I gotta take care of right there. We're gonna look at break room and kitchen. What do you need us to do in this break room? What needs to be done in this kitchen? Am I cleaning, you know, the inside of the refrigerator? Am I cleaning the stove top? Whatever, is, is there a stove top in there? Get very clear, peek your head in there, look all around, see how it looks at that particular time. If you go during the morning time, or if you go in the eat or in the afternoon is what I like to see, because I want to see, all right, how does this place look like after they done got down eating lunch? What does it look like in here? Is it a lot of trash? Is it a lot of, you know, stuff on the table and floors? Get just get a picture, get a clear picture of what it looks like, right? Also, you wanna ask them, what is your primary focus in this building? Do you have a particular part about this building that, that hasn't been getting done correctly by the previous company? Or is there something that you really want us to focus on? Just get clear on that, cause that'll give you a better picture of like, all right, I know they like to focus on this, so I'm gonna make sure I emphasize this with my team whenever we get started in this building. Also, do you have a scope of work document? Because that'll help you determine what you wanna put on your service description on your proposal whenever you get ready to send it, right? So, you wanna get a scope of work document, if possible, if they have one. 
Also, you want to figure out, this is one of the most important ones, by the way, y'all. If you don't ask anything else, make sure you get clear on this question. Building supplies. Who is supplying the paper towels, the tissue, the soap, and the trash bags? Do y'all buy that stuff or do I buy that stuff? Do I bring that? Because if I bring that, it's going to be a little bit extra. I'm going to have to charge you, you know, a certain percentage on top of whatever because I'm the one that's buying it and bringing it, right? Or do y'all do that and we don't even worry about that, right? Because the last thing you want, by the way, is to be in there. You have no bags, you have no tissue, you have no paper towels, all that stuff like that, right? When you when they come in there the next morning, they expect for that stuff to be stocked and supplied and just don't have to worry about it. And by the way, y'all, just to keep in mind, these people are purchasing a peace of mind. They're not purchasing cleaning services. They are purchasing a peace of mind. Think about that, y'all. You want to give them peace of mind. Every time they come in this building, it's clean, it's taken care of. I ain't got to worry about nothing. All I got to do is my job, which is uh, doing whatever they do in that building, right? So just keep that in mind. Also, you want to look at is there a blueprint or a floor plan of this building that you can share with me? Sometimes they might not be able to share that with you, but if they have something like that that they can share with you, go ahead and get that. That's going to give you a more accurate picture of what the square footage is, by the way. And also keep in mind, if you aren't able to figure out what the square footage is, there is an app called Measure on uh, iOS or App Store on iPhones. I'm not sure they have it on Androids, but I know for sure I use that a whole lot on floor jobs. You can go from one end of the hallway to the next end of the hallway and it'll give you the exact specific measurement of whatever that length is. So you do you do one end to the other end by this end to that end and that'll tell you what square footage, what the square footage is of that particular space. So anyway, check the measure app out if you don't know what the exact square footage is or if they don't even know it because sometimes they don't even know it. Another thing you might want to ask too is what makes you guys call us or what's what's going on here you know tell me what's going on with the last company uh, and they may just get to talking so make sure you listen very very clearly on what they say make sure you're asking a lot of these questions go deeper into detail if possible get them to talking get them to sharing stuff with you you know and help you help to help you understand what they're actually looking for and what's really going on with the current company and why they don't have peace of mind why am i here right why am I here right now? You got a company already in here. What are they doing? So I can know not to do that thing, that same thing, right? Or to do this thing better, right? So there we go right there. Next thing you want to do, if possible, is just ask them, okay, when are you expecting a turnover? When are you expecting to get a get a quote back from us? Or when are you expecting to change companies, I guess you can say. And then after that, just let them know, hey, cool. Thank you so much for you know taking the time with me. I can get this done and sent back to you by tomorrow if you have the time to get it done tomorrow or you know once you do your thing I, I usually give it like two or three days i'll say i'll have this to you by the end of the week by that friday they'll have the weekend and think it over or whatever i should be hearing something back on that monday tuesday or end of that week right that being said i really hope this helps y'all out go out there show up professional with a smile on your face bring that energy if you got any value out of this video make sure you give me a thumbs up hit the like button, subscribe if you want more content like this, and go ahead, do your thing out there, man. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.